It's a tough one because I think you know we stand here again, um, you know, after a game talking about a referee's decision, but it's just it's getting to the point of being ridiculous now. Um, but you know, listen, the lads made two tackles. Uh, their 11s made eight bad fouls. I'd probably say three of them really bad, and he's still on the pitch. But listen, I don't want to talk about them anymore because, like I said, it's getting a bit ridiculous. And I want to talk about the lads' fight second half. I would say it's definitely a point game going down to ten men. Um, you know, we scored early on again on the front foot. Um, they're a good side, they're physical, they're strong. The right back I thought was good. Um, you know, they caused us some problems. But you know, they stood up to that challenge um, in, in adversity again. We're going down to 10 men and you know, I'll back loop this time and I'll back the players. I don't think that's a sending off myself. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased with the way that they've given me a reaction today. And yeah, it's a point we've gained. Uh, we've not lost a game, which is good. So, you know, after three successes defeats, it's good to get some points on the board again. And obviously there's Jamie back in the squad today in a more attacking role than, he, than he's played recently. On the score sheet, what will that now do for him, sort of moving moving into the next match and moving forward now? Yeah, obviously it'll give him confidence to get back on the score sheet. Um, you know, it was hard out there today, they had to do some hard yards. Like I said, uh, I've just said to them in there, you know, every team that you come up against this year, they're, they're tough, you know. Um, league positions at this point in the season, you probably look into it, you're probably not looking too much into it, to be fair. Um, but you know, every game, you know, you're gonna have to be your best. And I think confidence-wise, there's a few lads in there now. You can see, you know, um, footballers are most of them are confidence players. You know, every every single one from goalkeeper to striker and in between. And I think, you know, that hopefully will build a little bit of confidence. You know, especially like I said, playing the last 20 minutes again with 10 men. Um, you know, they still look to threat. Um, so yeah. Again, I'm pleased for Jamie to come back into the squad and get a goal. He's, he's not been very well recently, so it's good to have him back. And obviously, Danny's pulled up a little bit um, early in the game, so we'll have to assess how he is. But yeah, like I said, it's great to see them just fight for each other now, and you know that's what they're going to have to do. And obviously, we started the match with seven changes uh, to the squad that started in the last match. Obviously, Mitchell Levers in goal. Um, how, how pleased are you, are you with his performance today? Make, make some good saves. Yeah, I don't think he's uh, he's going to have a better debut for that um, than that. Sorry. So um, yeah, I'm really pleased for Mitch. And like I said, he's more than capable. And I think. And I said to him before the game, a lot of managers are reluctant to put young players in. I'm not one of them. I will put them in. Um, that's how you learn. That's how you get better. That's how you progress. And you know, sometimes it's not all about um, you know bringing in experienced players. To, to you know, you don't have to coach them. You don't have to manage them. I want to bring young players through. I want to see him progress. I want to see him do well. And he's done that today. And I thought he was outstanding. You know, coming out, commanding his box. He's got put under massive pressure from from the aerial balls. You know, and that's what they look to do. They look to hit into the box early or diagonal balls, put crosses under the bar. He dealt with every challenge today, so I'm really, really pleased with how he's done, and I'm sure he will be as well. And now, are you hoping the, the lads will sort of push on? You know, last week obviously a disappointing defeat, a draw today, Lincoln United next. So you're hoping? Well, I mean, you're always going to a game hoping for three points, but I'm, I'm guessing you're looking forward to that one. Yeah, like I say, every game we look forward to, we always go into a game trying to win it. You know, we're not a team that will sit back and, and try and protect a one 0 or go, oh, we'll take a draw. You know, yeah, we took what I got, got a draw today, but you know, it was, it was a positive result for us. Um, so we'll go into that game again trying to win it. Um, and it's, it's about how the lads now move forward from this point. We've had a lot of games up to this point in the season. You look back at last year, we'd not played nowhere near as many. Um, so fitness wise, you know, it takes its toll on the players. You know, they're traveling, you know, they've come down today, three and a half hours on the coach. You have to do that now. This is the league we're in. And I think, you know, they've all got used to that now. So I expect them now to kick on from this point. And like I said, try and try and get some positive results on the board in terms of three points and wins. Mm -hmm. And it obviously is a week now until we get travel over to Lincoln United. That There's that obviously lack of not as much congestion, should I say, now with uh, now that we're out of the Cups. Do you think it'll be a positive or a negative for the players? We've obviously, they get, they've got more time to rest, but it means there's not going to be as much rotation in the squad and obviously not as much game time for, for a lot of the players. Yeah, I think, you know, getting on the training pitch will do us some good. Um, you know, the games, like I said, like you said, have come thinking fast. And I think just getting on the training pitch and working on a few things, we've not been able really to, to do that with playing Saturday, Tuesday. And it's the same for everybody else, you know, but I think we've got some experienced lads in there that are getting on in, in later years, you know, and the games have, have took the toll on them. And, and you've seen it today, like they leave everything out there. Um, so you have to give them the recovery time as well. But I think it'd be good for us to get on the training, have a full week's training, get together, get to, you know, in, in, within the squad and, and get around each other. And I think that's important as well as much as the games are you know good that the games are coming thick and fast and you know playing matches is what we all do it for you know that's when it matters on a Saturday or Tuesday night trying to win three points or whatever you you know if you're in the cup competitions but I think it's important also to get the training in the fitness work now um, and that's what we've done for the past two and a half years and we seem to get stronger in games um, so that's kind of a focus of mine going moving forward now to get as much training into the players as we can much information that we want from them 
and that sharpness now um, and it gives you it's just it just enables you to work with them a little bit more um, games come thick and fast personnel changes injuries suspensions you know it feels like you're always chopping and changing um, that's the beauty like I said of the squad so yeah looking forward to getting on the training pitch with them Tuesday Thursday this week